Welcome, guys, to another episode. I love this so much because I have a perfect person who is here and amazing. Her name is Robbie Curtis, and she's going to introduce herself because you already know who I am. So, Robbie, go ahead and introduce who you are. Hey, everyone. My name is Robbie, of course, as she said. I am a soon to be virtual assistant, and I work with I want to work with health and wellness professionals, um, getting their back end and all of their business stuff taken care of so they can do what they do best, which is help people and better their better themselves. Um, I am totally blind. And how I got into this um, profession was through my best friend. She actually had looked up something that was talking about virtual assistance and um she thought that that would be a good fit because i've been doing stuff for people um along the way so i decided to look it up and i enrolled in a virtual assistant um training course and i've been doing this ever since so and then i met with marie uh, clubhouse yeah. Okay. So Robbie you guys <laughs> stuff out. And it was very funny because I think I can't even remember the room we were doing in Clubhouse that day. But I remember Robbie came up to the stage and she was so bright and wanted to just converse with us. And I was like, oh girl, we have to be friends. So we ended up connecting through our community. Um, and you know, she's been in the community. She's one of the most active people in the community. And I say that to say that sight does not mean that you have limits literally she has been very active she's also been taking on you know responsibilities to get training for herself outside of you know like she mentioned outside of just learning more in the community so I wanted to talk to Robbie today because I wanted to be able to share with others all the goodness that she does but I also want to make sure that not only is she just having her spotlight and her moment to shine but that she's able to just encourage anyone who may be listening or watching and that they can be able to understand that, again, sight is not a limit. Um, you literally can just do all the things. So, yeah. Robbie, tell yes. me about um, your your life. Like, what exactly do you do in your day-to-day? -day? You know, how do you take care of yourself? Are you taking care of anyone else? I am currently helping my sister we're taking care of my mom she's kind of going through like dementia she's had some health issues so when I do get to work it's mainly at night because I do better mm -hmm. working at nighttime than in the daytime because I'm always being called to do something or you know things of that nature and I and then I get my workouts in and you know, I do all Ooh. that during the day. So it's not <laughs> at nighttime is when I can really sit down and and do work. I'm a, I'm I'm kind of a night owl. Um mm -hmm. I, yeah, I do better at night. I can't do it during the I day. Definitely really, love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Being a night owl is such a cool thing because I also love working at night. You know, mm -hmm. I you know I have daughter and I have a husband who yeah. works hours in the daytime so when both of them are sleeping I get to do most of my work at night it's like my genius right <laughs> that's when I can concentrate exactly it's no sounds no people no noise it's just right. you and that that action that you're taking care of so right I know that you've mentioned about your mom you know having her ill her illnesses and the things mm -hmm. that you're helping with your sister in um in that aspect how are mm -hmm. you on your day to day taking care of yourself in a space where you're learning all these things? Because honestly, it's cool that, you know, um, it's cool to know that without sight, you can do all the things, but I don't know how mm -hmm. you do it. So how exactly do you do it? Tell the people. Okay. So because I'm, I'm totally blind, I can use my computer and on my computer, I have this software, it's called JAWS. It's a screen reading software. So it tells me everything on the computer that it it can. And what I mean by that is that, you know, it really doesn't do graphics very well. It mostly does text stuff, but it will let me know if there's some graphics and stuff uh, on the page or whatever. And 
with the course that I'm taking, they do a lot of uh, video training, which that's not my learning style, really. Um, I do better if they give me something to work with. They'll just give me a video and say, okay, this is you do this and that and that and click over here. That doesn't work for me. So I have to have something to play with that I can go in there and learn it as, you know, step by step or whatever and do it that way. So, and, but I can, um, I don't know if this, I've heard this screen reader, um, I can use my screen reader to share the screen, mm -hmm. but I haven't really played with it. But <laughs> Well, but, you um, can always test it out on me if you ever wanted to, because I would love to actually see you in action, especially since, you know, you're doing all of the things like what, so JAWS is the tools you're using, um, you're using mm -hmm. for your screen reader, but are there tools that help you um, outside of JAW or is it just JAW primarily? Um, it, it depends on the web or where I'm going because sometimes JAWS will let me know everything and then sometimes it doesn't. So I have a couple of different screen readers. Well, I have JAWS and this other one called NVDA, which stands for non-visual, I forgot what it stood for. <laughs> <laughs> non-visual access it. something like that forgot what the d stood for but anyway i sometimes will have to switch between jaws and that other screen reader because sometimes one does better than the other um i have played with the tools of the trade like um i, I play with acuity because i have a um, one of my clients is a massage therapist, so I do all of her back end stuff and administrative mm -hmm. and scheduling. So I've been in Acuity. I've created a website for her um, through WordPress. WordPress is, is a better one for for me to work with because um, things like Wix is not really accessible to screen readers. Got it. So I have to use WordPress if I'm going to do any website uh, website creation. Um, what else have I played with? I played with um, MailChimp. I played with that a little bit. <laughs> and I can't think of what else I don't play with. I don't play with so many stuff. <laughs> That's well, what I think about it. I like playing with stuff. So and I don't play with so many software. I can't even think right now. <laughs> It is great because I know that you're you're always going to be looking for things that you can kind of, uh, you know, explore because you're hands on and you like to just take the time to allow yourself to learn the tool instead of having someone to tell you what the tool is. You want to play around with it. I think I that's so play around cool. With it. Yes, that is so cool. Like no one really thinks about the fact that um, sometimes you learn best by doing and not having to see things. Right. So, again, right based on the fact that you are the prime example in this sense, if I didn't have vision, I don't know if I could function as like smoothly as you can. <laughs> like, are you teaching other people how to do this or do you just do this on like your own? Like, or, or do you wanna teach more people on, uh, on your road here? Okay, I would, when I first got started doing this, I one of my goals was to teach other blind people how to do this. Um, but in the blind community, it, it's a, I don't know how to explain it. It is a, like a hit and miss, like mm -hmm. they do want to learn. Some of them may want to learn it and other people like, yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, earlier, uh, before I got into this, I was training other uh, people how to do other blind people that is how to use the jaw screen reader nice and they, <laughs> for some reason they didn't like me because I was hard on them I was like look <laughs> you gotta do this and oh. it was one person let me tell you this story quick story here actually I was teaching somebody how to read braille Ooh. and <laughs> the one thing I kept telling this person that they would memorize everything instead of like really practicing it and reading it Mm -hmm. And one day I, he was, I had them to read 
a word or a letter or something and they were like pausing like I said have you learned your have you done your exercise he's like no not really I said take it out of your head and put it in your <laughs> hands <laughs> I just like turn it to work. Stop playing with it. <laughs> Cause they were like using their brain. They were just like memorizing stuff. I'm like, take it out of your head, put it in your hands. And then after a while, I was like, you know what? I can't do this. I, I don't have patience. <laughs> oh man, that is so fun. And it, it <laughs> did it eventually get to them and understand that they needed to stop memorizing and actually learn how to read it with their hands. You know, I never um, held up with them again. I was like, yeah, whatever. Oh. <laughs> you're either going to do it or you're not. You know, it's like. <laughs> and then this other girl, we kind of, uh, other story I got for you on that is like, we kind of bumped heads. It's like, mm. I tell her, do this. Listen, you got to do this. You got to do that. And, and I told her I said listen you got to learn how to do this is something we cannot use a mouse so yep. you're gonna have to practice doing this every day take a little bit out of your time every day and practice doing this because we can't use a mouse we cannot point and click and that person mm -hmm. told me well I don't have 24 hours to sit in front of a computer well we got into like a big heated debate on that when we quit talking for a while <laughs> oh gosh do you still talk to that person now, though? Yeah, I do. We, we made oh, up. She, she has learned to come to the Jesus moment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Ralph, <laughs> you are hilarious. I can never get over how you make me laugh every single conversation. You have charm. <laughs> you have just this great characteristic that I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Who could not stay in a beautiful room with you? Like you, you, <laughs> but the fact that you're hard on people to me, it's like you have to have started in a place where you're probably hard on yourself. But how do you deal with the fact that you are, you know, in your situation and that life is just what it is? Like, how do you deal with that on your own self? Well, you know, let me back up to when I uh, grew up. I was born visually impaired, but not totally blind. And mm -hmm. I actually lost my sight in the 12th grade. Wow. I had some kind of eye infection that took it that took the rest of it out. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's okay though. I'm I'm good. You know, I just I just when I went totally blind, I, you know, was in my pity party moment for a little bit. And then I was like, okay, we gotta do something. So and uh, after I graduated, I went to my community college. And this is how I'd be getting back at people I'm like, okay, you ain't gonna treat me this way. Okay. So yeah, I had this one instructor and I was taking it was a proofreading and editing class. Mm -hmm. And when I first went to Guilford Tech, they didn't have accessibility tools for us to really use like that. Mm -hmm. And the lady said to me, she says, well, I don't see how you're going to be able to do this, this course. And I end up dropping out. And mm -hmm. a few years later, I went to work at the Industries of the Blind. But what happened was after I left Industries of the Blind, which is a like a manufacturing for people with, who are blind and visually mm -hmm. impaired. So then I left there because I kept butting heads with my supervisor. <laughs> and then it was other stuff that was I was going through at the time, you know, get ready to go through a divorce. I had been married, get ready to go through a divorce. I'm like, no, I can't, no, I'm not happy in this. I got to go. Yeah. So I come back to GTCC and I took medical transcription mm. and I ended up somewhere between that and doing my computer programming uh, uh, degree, which I also have, um, I ended up with the same instructor. <laughs> and what? I come back, yeah. She For the second time I had her, I had her for, it's, it was a database class. And I got a B out of that class. I'm like, you can't tell Ooh. me I can't do shit. No, I mean, excuse my language. <laughs> I come back. 
I passed the database class. I even passed the, the proofreading and editing class, although it was under another teacher. Wow, <laughs> Robbie. If I can give you every award in the world, it would be handed at you. I will make sure that it's piling up around your body because you deserve everything. Not only are you unstoppable, you're undefeated, you're unbeatable. You continue to thrive through just encouraging others. You encourage yourself. You are literally a game changer, okay? <laughs> like, you rock this world. And I'm saying this because, like, I know you, but I also mm -hmm. am, I'm learning a little bit more as, this, you know, as we're talking here. So it's like... Mm -hmm to hear more about the fact that you were married and the fact that you went to and this is not surprising because you you know you don't have sight it's because mm -hmm. the fact that you've lived a long life a good yes. life yes a good life you went to yes. school I didn't even finish college like you went to school <laughs> you did all the things you're excelling and yet we have people complain about just the small little things mm -hmm. the small items that we can literally push past but you have mm -hmm. showed us not only that you are limitless but there are things that there there are things that you are not you're teaching other people you're mm -hmm. helping other people navigate do yes. you feel like um and I, be real, I'm being realistic I know that you have mm -hmm. down days but how do you get up from those days because a lot of times even with me I feel like sometimes I feel overwhelmed but it's mm -hmm. not in the way where I hate what I'm because I love my job I love all the things mm -hmm. but sometimes I just want to not be in that space all the time how do you cope right. with that I have to uh, if I feel kind of like down or whatever I have to walk away from it and go do something else you know that's not related to yeah. what I, if I'm feeling down that day and I really can't do any work or whatever I just go listen to music Sometimes I have to take a swig, but <laughs> I'm on now, Chuck, Chuck. <laughs> like um last year was really really difficult, you know, because I was going through things with my mom, you know, and she was doing things that really had to make me take a swig. I was like, oh, dirty Lord. <laughs> but um yeah, I'll go listen to music. I will go. Uh, talk to my my best friend uh work out do anything and, and it'll bring it back you know sometimes it'll bring it back sometimes it'll take a little bit of time but um mainly I just leave it alone for a while and just walk away I you know. love that I love yeah. that so I know that we have had so many great talks and I want people to know more about you. And we'll probably do another one of these so that people can learn more. But mm -hmm. I do want to know where they can find you. Do you have, you know, and also I want to touch on just your, your whole building out on a website. If you don't know WordPress, WordPress is one of the most complex website builders. And the fact that they have the accessibility for people without sight and any disability, it's great to know that you're able to build out for people. Like, oh my gosh. So how do oh, I wish you? I could show you this because I, I think I could still pull up my, my friend's website, even though, because mm -hmm. on my end, it's showing me the website, but everywhere ah. else, you know, it's not showing, it, like if I go into Chrome and mm -hmm. I try to go to her website, it'll say in maintenance mode. Got and, um, but if, because I use Edge, so I can yep. get in there with Edge and, and, and go in there and see it. And, and I'll do you, what I need to do in there. You were telling me too, because um, you were saying that you have to do like coding and stuff like that on the back end. So you do CSS and stuff like that? Um, go in the back end and like put in the pages, fix the colors, fix the font, all of that stuff. Wow. I love it. You yeah. are a champion. And I, <laughs> I, I can't believe it because I'm like, I need to hire you. But I need to hire you for smaller things and bigger things. Like, I'm like, I want to hire you for helping everybody. And then I want to hire you for like, hey, can you fix my website? Just add this <laughs> on there. Can you just, you know, make this pretty? Like, I want you to do all the things. That you're so fantastic. So tell the people where they can find you. Uh, well, I really, hmm, let me see what, because I really don't go into the, the my Facebook. The whole social media. Yep. 
social media gets on my nerves. <laughs> like I ain't been, I think I've not been on social media for about at least a month because okay. it gets on my nerves so bad. But <laughs> um you could uh, reach me at like my my email address, you know, if you want to send okay. me an email is rkcurtis18103 at gmail.com. All um, right. That is yeah, because I'm ahead. still trying to get myself set up. So I'm not really, I don't really have my handles and stuff out there real good yet. Mm-hmm. It's because she's trying to make it perfect. Okay. That's all it is. She's trying well, to make sure that she's. Perfect. Listen, you, can't, okay. you don't have to be perfect. You just got to get it out there. <laughs> That's true. That is true. She's trying to make sure that it's, it's ready. And I love yeah. that because you are such you're such a uh, an inspiration to me every day. And again, if you have not heard me the first time, she's in our community. She is in our community. She's just doing all the things in there. And I really appreciate you, Robbie. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, you're so welcome. <laughs> yeah, thanks for speaking right. with me. <laughs> I, <what? All> right. <laughs> Of course. Okay. Well, we're ending it now. So we've officially ended it. You are amazing. I thank you so much, Robbie. If you need me for anything, again, remember, book some time with me. You can actually even, you know, take time to go ahead and just message me and let me know if you need more time, okay, to just kind of chat about anything because I'm literally here to kind of teach you all the things. Oh, cool. Thank you. No we'll problem. That. <laughs> you have a good one, okay? All right. You too. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.